Alright, 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 alright. Another video uploaded June 12, 2011. Corey Anton re regarding, re regarding the universe doesn't have a self. This is a good one. I like this topic. Assuming there is such a thing as the universe to begin with, which I might like to say is a reification, but given that there is a universe, the universe, many universes as some sort of a thing, I'd say the universe has many, many, many selves, an uncountable number of selves. The question is, is it the same self that is looking out of the eyes of each individual self? Is there a self with a capital S? Now, I don't know if Corey's going to get into this because I've only watched 41 seconds before I had to say something. Okay, a little over two minutes in. I'm thinking that instead of saying, does the universe have a self, it could be asked, is the universe a self? When some people have an experience, a sort of figure ground reversal, so that it appears as if it is the universe. There is only the universe, which is looking out of each and every eye. Watch used to say it's the same eye. That can be a very strange experience. If and when people are conscious of themselves as being the universe or the cosmos, it could be called cosmic consciousness. That the universe in its flowering the universe flowers, people are flowers of the universe, flowers of consciousness, aware of consciousness itself as it is in the form of a flower becoming conscious of itself. Not to mention how consciousness mushrooms. Another question arises. Is or could the universe be conscious of the numbers of hairs on a person's head? Certainly, the number of hairs have a number. It could be said the universe knows by not knowing, but then that's, that's not a very good thing to say, I don't think. When a sparrow falls out of a tree, in a way, the universe knows that. I'm not sure how much the universe cares about that. There's a, a sentence in the Tao Te Ching where it talks about how uh, ruthless the, the world is. It speaks of water as nourishing all things, but it doesn't have a mind to nourish all things water washes everything away also. Water can be ruthless. Water knows how to freeze and knows how to evaporate, but that kind of knowing is a different sort of knowing. When someone goes outside and feels the warmth of the sun, if they have some type of a ego loss or maybe overinflation, and feels as if he or she is the sun, that could be a sense of self. So, does the sun have a self? Well, this is like deja vu all over again. I don't know if I recorded this before. I'm about four, almost four and a half minutes into the talk, and Corey starts to use prepositions. Am I in the universe or of the universe? And I like to say that prepositions are preposit ions. Using a language which is problematic, first we have to presume that there is something called the universe, some process, processes, activity, event, ongoing, then take what is already a carving of the uncarved block and chop it a little bit more and have a chip off the old block. The chip is in, the chip is of, the chip is by. 
to say that a body grew out of the universe is to draw a distinction between the body and the universe. To have selves in the universe, of the universe, by the universe, for the universe, kind of sounds like some sort of constitutional amendment or declaration or something. Levels of awareness and identification are interesting to me. To say I am of the earth or I am of the solar system. Does the solar system have as many selves as there are to be found on earth or does the earth have ever so many selves growing out of it? To leave earth or to leave the solar system okay I suppose if uh, a seed pod, whether it was inhabited by machines or people, were to arrive at another solar system, another planet, and met up with another machine or organism and started getting into a debate about who is the finest, mostest, whatever around here, and the inhabitant of the pod says, yeah, well, but I'm not around here from there might be some sort of Yoda-like uh, echo from the local yokel. It's kind of a funny, ironic, tragic thing with transformations of consciousness. If the, the local yokel and the uh, inhabitant of the seed pod from Earth were to meet and begin to dispute over some territory, it could be the stuff wars are made of because they're each thinking that they're other in some sense. If on the other hand a local inhabitant of some planet and a local inhabitant of another planet were to meet on yet a third planet and begin to squabble over resources but could raise their awareness and say hey wait a minute I, I am a self of the universe you are a self of the universe we are both the universe in and of itself, why are we fighting over these resources? Maybe we can share them. So I, I might advocate the expansion of consciousness. That that could be a good thing if it's uh, <laughs> if it's done carefully. It might be able to be said. I'm sure it could be said because I'm about to say it. That Earth knows without knowing all of itself. When an individual becomes globally conscious, attains to planetary consciousness and feels a oneness with the earth or even that one is the earth incarnating as an individual, it would still be limited. I, I can't imagine, maybe it's just my own limited uh, consciousness, I can't imagine ever seeing anything as the earth sees everything or as the universe knows everything even though it doesn't know it. Watts used to talk about how knowing goes and language chops that there are different kinds of knowing. God apparently if, if there is a God, uh, an Indra uh, stepping in and out of history as a Krishna uh, as a <laughs> however God chooses uh, that's a strange thing for consciousness to in its divine nature manifest and say look here all you individual selves that may or may not be a part of me given the situation in this age listen up so it becomes a play of self with a capital S as it sort of uh, distills out of itself as it is refined and re-refined and found to be the universe as self. At the end of the talk there's still a lingering of. I would throw out the of and say you are not of the universe you are the universe and so is everybody else so don't 
get all egotistical about it, don't put anybody else down, each manifestation of the universe is the universe. Not of, not in, not by, not for. So, uh, yeah, I'd, I would want to erase more lines than draw if I was going to go about it as a Taoist. And as an explorer of consciousness and language and throwing my voice up <laughs> and in to the tuber sphere, I am uh, thankful again. I never would have thunk it. And yet, I did. I did thunk it. The universe thunk it. Well, enough silliness. Thanks again.